Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to write a job to build and deploy code to AEM from GitHub repository. So there are two types of repositories, public and private. So as part of this tutorial, I'll use a private repository because for private, you need an additional step for authentication. So there are a number of ways how you can write these kind of job. But in this tutorial, I'll talk about two types. Maven type project means Maven type of job and freestyle type of job. In Maven type of job, you can achieve everything using Maven commands. Even you can do it the same thing in freestyle as well. But I'll show you one by one. So as part of this tutorial, we'll see how you can create a Maven type job. So I have a locally running Jenkins. So what I'll do, I'll create a job here, new item, and I'll say AM Maven job. And I'll choose Maven project here and say, okay. So I have added some description. I would say source code management is Git here. And now I will add a repository URL. So I have a private repository. And I have this AEM integrations as a private repository. So now you can add repository URL in two ways. There are two options. Either you can have HTTPS or you can have SSH. So I'll talk about both in coming tutorials. For now, let's say HTTPS here. I copy this and I'll add a URL here. Now, because this is a private repository, so you need some authentication mechanism. So here, there are two ways you can add a authentication mechanism with GitHub. Either you can have a personal access token or SSH keys. So I will not explain this as part of this tutorial, but I will add a link to these tutorials. You can go back and check that. So for that, you create credentials. So I have already cre created a credentials with personal access token. So I'll use it here now. Because this is a private, if I don't use, you will get errors, right? So I'll use this. Please go back and check that how I create these credentials means using personal access token and SSH key both. Okay. So I added a this repository and I added credentials so that my Jenkins can authenticate to GitHub. Okay. Now which branch I need to build. So your repo repository uh, can have a multiple branches available. So which brand branch you want to build, you add here. Right now, I have only master. If you see here, I have only master. So I build master branch, right? So build master, that's it. Now, In, I'll not add anything else. In build environment, I'd say delete workspace before build start. Whatever. So what it'll do, it'll delete earlier build workspace. So this is just to confirm like you don't have any additional, you know, existing stuff. And here, pre-step, I'll not add anything in pre-step. Build option, because this is a Maven job, right? So you have a mandatory step, mandatory Maven step, where you have to provide your parent form, means your project parent form, and your goal. What is your goal? So in our case, we have MVN clean install. Clean install is our goal to build this project, and we'll see how you can deploy that. But first, you should know why this form means what is the path of this they are saying root form so how we can give the path of this root form so when you create a project means when you create a job jenkins create a workspace a space in workspace for a specific job so when i create this let me do it first let me keep it here as it is i'll explain and goal is clean install that's it I don't have any post step as of now. Let me save it and let me save it. I'll update this again. First, I need to show you something. So when you create this job, if you go to the directory where Jenkins install, it will create a specific space for this repository uh, for this job. So what I'll do, I'll go here and I'll say space is here and my Jenkins is installed here. If you see, this is my Jenkins. So if I open this 
this uh, directory you will find number of things you will find what are your jobs have you will see all the jobs so this is the space created for my newly created job but you don't have your code here you have to go to the workspace so you'll see the workspace here and for every job the workspace created so in this workspace you don't see space for my job so first you build this job then you will be created so what happened there will be a space here and inside that space for example let's say this one let's say here so what i'll do it will create a folder and inside this it will clone your code so whatever path you gave here that is relative to this folder means there will be a folder called am maven job and it will create clone the code of from your github so you will give path from here so because my i have this job i have this repository if you see here and my form is at parent level so i'll give the path straight away here because here let me configure this again let me open okay here because so the path starts from the folder so my parent form is straight away in my folder if you see here here okay so now let me build this let me save and let me trigger a build here so if you will see my job is successful so if i open this you have to go here this is a build number so if you open here and say the console so you will see some logs here right but you don't see all the logs so if you see if you have a lot of logs so you can go to a particular level you can go by this view as a plain text so if you check here it clone my repository it cloned this repository okay and clone and it started build here if you check here right but now if i go to that folder if i show you here now see this job has been created okay i use john i by mistake i type n here but if you see here in this folder it cloned the code here and you give the path of that form relative to this folder so because i have form here inside this here so i straight away give give form dot xml right but if you see here i only build that code i did not deploy i just only use clean install clean install is only used to build your code so how you will deploy so you will see here let me configure it again and let me come to this goal here so there is a profile when you create am project using maven archetype it create profiles for you these profiles are used to deploy your code let me show you so if you go to the parent form here you will see these profiles auto install package and you will see number of profiles here so these profiles define these has some plugins which actually package your code and deploy to am so if you see here auto install package which deploy on this right am host and port so these are properties which are defined at starting of your form if you see these properties here see these are the properties so you are using you are defining here these properties and using anywhere in your code base so what they are saying here these are profiles there are number of profiles here so basically when you create project so they maven archetype create these profiles to deploy on your local but you can write other profiles or you can update these profiles to deploy this as per your need means to deploy on your qa stage or any of the environment so if you and there's an other profile as well where you can deploy a specific module or all the modules so if you see it's this auto install package this auto install package profile on profile deploy code on author because i'm using here am host and port this is for author if i use this publish this will deploy on publish but they will deploy one by one so there are other profile as well so if you go here let me go here and let me go to this all this is a specific module where this the work of this module is only to club all these modules and deploy as a single package so if you see here you will find a additional profile 
see auto install single package if you run this this will deploy everything together in a one package so either you can use either one or you can write your own profiles so now this is a question how you can use it so just copy this id and go to here and what you can do hyphen p and your profile id and that's it so let me save it now i will not build it first let me go to the aem to show you AM. So this is my package manager I, and I don't have any AEM integration package here. So if I build it now, I added profile hyphen P and the profile ID and let me build it now. So the build has been started now. If you open, you can continuously check the logs, go to the build, click on this console output and you can see the logs, live logs as well here. So if you see my build is success here and if I show you some logs here, so here it start building it, it de uh, start deploying it to AEM, okay, package imported. So if I come here and see refresh, okay, if you see these has been deployed, means the packages of my repo has been deployed, the code has been built and deployed. So I hope you understood, if you have any question, add your comment. Thank you.